Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how to add a contact uh, to your account and then share that out via the client portal. You're going to start out by going to the CRM accounts area. You're going to locate the account you need to add a contact to. In this case, we're going to use a Razor demo account. We're going to click Razor demo and under contacts, you have additional email addresses and people you're adding here. You would hit create. We're going to say we're adding Bob Jones. You can add a phone number if you need to. Now the most important part is add the email address. In this case, I'm going to do info at razorerp.com and hit OK and hit save. Now, once you add that client, you have the opportunity to go to CRM client portal. This is where you'll manage the uh, portal access for each of the accounts. Once that loads, what you'll do is you'll search for your accounts. This case I had a filter on it, but in, in general, you're going to search your account, Razor demo. And you can see how many active accounts, uh, portal status, last login, and you'll click this and hit update. Now, when you hit update the client portal, this is the general client portal settings page. You can see each of the accounts that are available. You have the ability to edit the customer logo, add a customer logo. So this is what will show up in the uh, customer's client portal. So typically, it would be their logo. Page access. Uh, over here, you'll have the options to enable specific visibility for the client. You could set up the dashboard, allow them to schedule orders. Um, see resale orders you may have shipped to them or manage the ITAD recycling order process which would be recycling orders. So each one of these that are checked off will be visible to the client. Recently we added Asset Vision which is a highly used ITAD uh, page which would show all the assets that are being audited for a specific client. Now over here you could enable or disable specific options so maybe these are all the columns that would be available to the client so you would go through it take a look at it and see if you need bottle number or serial number uh, maybe you don't need the location name they just need to know the city and zip code uh, the products came from you have the opportunity to set up the credit amounts the notes sold amounts if the product's under consignment or not so if this company is not a consignment account i would uncheck that uh, you have the opportunity to see order number, purchase order number, and if there's things that you're receiving into Razor that are attributes, we have something called column management. So let's say this is a cell phone client and you continually audit and test cell phones for them. You would go to the cell phone attributes and potentially um, you want to enable service provider as an option. When I hit save and close, that's going to add the uh, cell phone option here. So I'm going to do a refresh on this page and uh, we're going to be able to see uh, cell phone and the provider that was, uh, which would be the carrier, which is right here. Now what I'm going to do next is there's a link at the top. You want to click it. Uh, this will open the client portal and we could see how those changes that we're selecting and unselecting affect the portal. Now, when we look at the uh, client portal, you can see the open invoices, poundage of electronics recycled, how many orders were scheduled. You get a nice bird's eye view of the particular account, how many orders came in, uh, which orders, how much weight, last date received. Uh, but depending on the options you set up, you can allow them to schedule orders. So this would allow them to self-service their own account. Um, they could add new contacts. They could select from existing contacts. So you can see the Bob Jones uh, contact we just added. You could set up location details. Um, dock heights, logistics information, and then you have the very typical, uh, you know, logistics information about the pickup. Where's the truck uh, park upon arrival? What type of materials being picked up, etc. Now, under Asset Vision, this is the uh, page that has um, the additional options like carrier that we enabled. So over here, they could search 
uh, all items. Um, they could select specific dates the items were audited, and then you could export to Excel. So over here, you have a lot of information, and it gives the client um, the ability to self-service their account without, without having to contact the sales rep every time. Uh, but it's, it's a very nice feature. And then uh, you also have a file services here where they get upload or you could upload files and share it out to the client. Under orders for recycling, you're going to have more visibility. Um, this will provide the client with the ability to search by specific order and download various paperwork. So over here you can see it's order number 4783. You have your order dates, reference numbers. Um, actual pickup time, settlement dates, how much you paid them, or how much you charged them, receipt weights, how many assets were audited. Um, and then you have the ability to download settlement reports, picture reports, certificates of recycling, uh, AP invoicing or AR invoicing, depending on what happened with that particular order. You have a certificate of destruction, a bill rating, audit reports um, that would just be consolidation of all assets audited, receiving reports, summary reports, and uh, data destruction report. So all these are customizable per order. In this case, we enabled everything, but uh, this will be up to the sales rep on what level of reporting the client will receive for each order. So as you can see, they could get a tremendous amount of information. So that's how you manage the client portal. And uh, back, back to the customer area, um, if you need to um, generate a password, for Bob Jones, um, you could put a password like this, and what you'll do is select that account and hit send welcome email. And this is gonna send an email to the address we have on file here. So that's how you manage the client portal.